Hey, Angie. Hey, Wendy. Y'all comment if you're on and watching. Happy, what's the name? Wednesday night. Hey, Lisa. I got a like. I like it. <laughs> Hey, Brittany. Hey, y'all. So, um, and a high five. Lisa gave me a like and a high five. That is awesome. Hey, Crystal and Chelsea. How are y'all tonight? So, um, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Wendy. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hey y'all, um, so it looks like I got a couple of people watching, so I'm just gonna get started um, for anybody who comes back and watches the replay. Um, Chelsea gave me a like too, I like it. So, hey, I just wanted to talk to y'all really quickly because we have foundation coming back tomorrow. It's so exciting. So we have several foundation com colors coming back tomorrow. So foundation has been out for a while. Um, so our foundation is so good and everybody wants it and we have had um foundation really being out of stock so it's coming back tomorrow thank you crystal i appreciate that um so our foundation and stuff comes back tomorrow so some colors come back tomorrow not all of it but some it looks like probably like the middle of june it's all going to be back in so tomorrow at three all of our foundations come back tomorrow so i just wanted to hop on really quickly because i haven't talked about foundations in a long time because i they weren't really available for you to get, so I hadn't really talked about them a ton. Um, so I just wanted to come back on tonight and talk to you really, really quickly about foundation. So why Limelight Foundation? So I'll be honest, like before Limelight, I didn't really um, use, I bought, I think it was like Neutrogena Foundation. Um, but what makes Limelight different from other foundations that you might use? So, Limelight Foundation is a botanical foundation. So, you may be thinking, I don't understand really what botanical even means. But it is a botanical wax foundation. And the reason that this foundation is so awesome is number one, it's 50% pigmented. So, the color that you're going to get off of our foundation is a lot more that you're going to get off of other foundation um, products. So things that you would buy Ulta or Sephora at a drugstore. Those are about 18 to like 25% pigment, where ours is 50% pigmented. So what does that mean for you? Because when I heard that, I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't even understand that. So what it means for you is, is that a lot less of the product is going to cover and go a lot more than anything else that you're going to use. So you're not going to have to cake on that foundation on your face in order to get um, a lot of coverage. It takes just a little bit of foundation, you smooth it on your face, and you're going to have the coverage that you would have of other foundations where you're almost having to like double apply it to your face. One time, small little little bit of foundation covers everything. So 50% pigmented, it actually means something pretty important to you. So um, a little bit goes a long way. It's wax based. So some people, when they think of, I'm putting like wax on my face, that sounds really weird too, right? So what does wax based mean whenever we're talking about our foundation? So wax based means that when you apply it to your face, it's actually gonna kind of smooth out on your face, but it is not gonna clog your pores and it's not gonna settle into like your fine lines or your wrinkles. Um, you apply it and it just kind of um, settles or doesn't settle, that's not the right word, but it places itself on your skin without settling into those fine lines and wrinkles and it doesn't clog your pores. So you're spending, you're doing all of this, trying to make sure that you have that perfect, like summer ready face um, and that your skin looks really good. So this foundation actually works really well 
with your skincare because it's not going to be something that's going to clog your pores like other foundations do. So it doesn't actually go into your skin, it actually just kind of sits on top of your skin. So the 50% pigment is huge, doesn't take a lot. And number two is it's wax based, so it's not gonna settle, it's not gonna get in the fine lines and wrinkles on your face, and it's not gonna clog your pores. So it's really good for your skin. Everything that is that you're doing from a skincare perspective is actually gonna be kind of benefited by the fact that you use this foundation. So you're not counteracting your skincare by then using your foundation. So um, that's probably the two biggest things about our foundation. So um, you're going to get really, really good coverage without it feeling like you have a lot of foundation on your face. It takes a small amount. Um, you can see here, like I have, oops, I got low battery. I have like really good foundation coverage right now but I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on my face. And if you see me, you're not gonna look at me and think, oh wow, her makeup is caked on her face. It's not. It's a small amount of foundation and it's covering what I need it to cover, but yet it's also kind of like letting um, your face show so that you're you. You're not you with a whole lot of makeup caked on, you're you. And it lasts throughout the day. So you're not having to worry about it starting to settle or looking cakey um, throughout the day. It really stays in place and it looks good throughout the day. So, um, two major benefits of our foundation there. That's why I love it. Like it works better, it covers, and again, it just really has helped with my skincare regimen that I've been doing with Limelight as well. So let's talk about how you get foundation. So we have foundation colors coming back in stock, like I said. We have um, Olive 2, Olive 4, which I'm very excited about Olive 2 because I normally wear Olive 1, but as I'm getting a little bit more out into the sun, I kind of think I need to go a little bit more Olive 2. So Olive 2 comes back. Hey Mallory, thank you. Um, Olive 2 comes back tomorrow. Olive 4 comes back tomorrow. We have Shinto 1 is back. Um, MB6, MBA, and Jenna Beige. So some really, really popular colors. Like Olive 2 is very, very popular. And so is the Shinto, and so is the Jenna Beige. So all of those come back tomorrow, which is awesome. So I just told you a whole bunch of stuff that you're thinking, I don't even know what Olive and Shinto mean. So I talked about this way back in the beginning when I first started. But how we determine your foundation color is a step of a couple of things. So first off, if you're looking to see what foundation color you would use, we're going to send you a quiz. And you're going to answer these questions based off of what your skin, your skin color type looks like. Hannah. All right, Hannah, I will message you. And actually, I think Olive 2 would be your color. Um, we're going to send you a quiz. And you're going to um, answer questions about your skincare type. So things like what happens when you go in the sun? Do you burn? Do you tan? Do you burn then tan? Um, it has pictures of people that you can kind of say like, who do I look like the most? Um, to try to figure out what your color type is. The second thing that we're going to ask you to do is to send us a makeup free selfie. So I have gotten so many of these makeup free selfies and people saying, please don't show this to anybody else. And we don't show it to anybody else, so you don't have to worry about that. But you're gonna see me a makeup free selfie and I'm going to compare that with our foundation colors and your quiz results and determine, hey, what exactly is your foundation color? We may come back and ask you a third question, which is just to kind of clarify, like what happens when you get in the sun? So for me, I'm olive. So olive means that you have like pink undertones in your skin. Pink undertones mean that I burn and then I tan. So I'm not a person who can just go in the sun and just tan right away. I kind of go through this burn period. I have to use a lot of sunscreen. A Shinto person, so Shinto comes back tomorrow as well. A Shinto um, skin type is more yellow undertones. Yes, Hannah, makeup free. I need a makeup free selfie. You send it to me tonight. <laughs> Um, Shinto means that you have more yellow undertones, which means that whenever you go into the sun, 
you don't necessarily have to pry a lot of sunscreen. Now you should, just to help protect your skin, um, but you don't have to apply a lot. Like you tan really, really easily. That means that you have yellow undertones in your skin. Thank you, Gina. And Lisa, I think Olive for you too. Yeah, I was thinking about that actually earlier and I think Olive um, is your color. So, um, so Olive is pink undertones and I burn and then I tan. Or if you're Shinto, you have yellow undertones and you just tan. So you go in the sun and you're that person that I'm jealous of and you just get this really nice um, glowing tan. So like my husband is Shinto. Well, he's not getting um, foundation, but he's Shinto because he just straight tans. And actually both of my kids I think are Shinto. So they did not get my skin tone. But um, we ask those questions, have you do the quiz and have you sent us the makeup free selfies? Just so we can make sure that we're getting you the exact right foundation for you. So um, that's kind of how the process goes. Cause a lot of people feel like, yeah, I don't know about like ordering online. Do I have the right color? But that's how we go through the process. We look at it and we judge and to see and to make sure that we're getting you into the right um, foundation color for you. Um, if it is not the right color, so if you get it and it doesn't work, we do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can get it, you can try it, and if you don't think that that's the right color for you, you can send it back and get the right color for yourself. So that is kind of like how our foundation process works. When you get our foundation as well, we recommend for you, all right, Hannah, send it to me in the morning. <laughs> Um, we also normally recommend getting, so this is my foundation here, and this is the same size that you would get, and then you get two concealer colors, which you can't really see the difference in them quite a bit. So the first color here at the top is going to be the color that is going to match your foundation color the closest. So this is going to be like if you have dark spots that need a little bit more coverage or you've got some blemishes or something like that, you can use that color for it. And then we're gonna go in for a lighter color for you that you can use under your eyes or for some of your contouring. So you would get, um, you can buy the foundation just by itself or you can buy this set. So the foundation plus your two concealer colors. So the one that you can use for blemishes if you need to and the one that you can use to help you contour or to help kind of cover up those mama bags that I have most of the time. So um, anyway, the foundation is, again, is awesome. It is going to um, work really, really well with your skincare that you have and is gonna cover and you're not gonna have to use a lot. So um, it's wax based, so when you put it on, you're gonna kind of warm it up with your finger, put it on your face and then rub it in um, and it is going to cover and give you this really, really lightweight feel on your face, but yet um, give you really, really good coverage to it. So again, tomorrow we have a lot coming back in and definitely through June. So anybody that may be interested in trying out, wanting to see what your color is, um, let me know. I can message you that quiz that you can take and then you can send me your makeup free selfie because who doesn't like taking a makeup free selfie, right Hannah? And um, we will get you set up and ready to go with some Limelight Foundation, which is one of my favorite things that we have. So thank y'all very much for hopping on tonight. Appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all later. Have a great Thursday. Bye.